Hey, uh, welcome back. So today I'm going to explain the ternary operator in JavaScript. You write a condition, then add a little question mark, kind of like you're asking a question. How is this useful? Well, it's a shortcut to if and else statements. It helps to assign a variable based on a condition. You write a condition, then use the ternary operator as if you're asking a question. You can write some code if that condition is true. What would you like to do? Then add a colon then some code if that condition is false. Here's an example. Let's say we have a user's age. Age equals 21. I would like to check to see if somebody's age is greater than or equal to 18. Age greater than equal to 18. Then I will use the ternary operator, kind of like I'm asking a question. Is age greater than or equal to 18? If this condition is true, we can write some code. I'll create a string, you're an adult. Then what if the condition is false? I'll add a colon, then I will execute this code if the condition is false. You're a minor. This is helpful if you need to assign a variable based on a condition. So I'll create a new variable, let message equals then we write our condition. So if age is greater than or equal to 18, if that's true, we will assign this string to this variable, this message. If it's false, instead we will assign this one. It's an alternative to writing something like this. So with programming, we try not to repeat ourselves if we don't have to. Here we're assigning message to be either this string or this one. Our ternary operator is more condensed and I feel like it's easier to read than that if else statement. It's a shortcut if you choose to use it. I tend to use it a lot. Then just to test it, let's console.log our message just to be sure that it works fine. Console.log our message. Our age is 21, you're an adult. If my age was 12, you're a minor. Let's go over a few more exercises. This time we will have let time. Time will be between one and 24, like a 24 hour clock. I will set time to be 16. 16 I think would be 4 p.m. We will assign a greeting equals, then we'll write a condition is time less than 12. Then ternary operator, like we're asking a question. If the time is less than 12, it's the morning. Good morning. We'll use a colon, then write some code if it's false. If it's not the morning, it's at least the afternoon. Good afternoon. Then let's console.log our greeting. Good afternoon, because it's 4 p.m. What if it was 9? Good morning. All right, I have a few more examples. What if somebody's a student? Let is student. This will be true or false if you're a student. Let message equals. Now with a Boolean variable, you can just write the Boolean variable itself. Is student question mark? Are you a student? If so, you are a student. If not, you are not a student. Then let's console.log our message. We are a student, you are a student. Let's set this to be false. You are not a student. It's very easy to read with Boolean variables. You write the Boolean variable, then add a question mark. Here's a challenge round. We will have a purchase amount as if somebody's buying something. If somebody's purchase amount is over $100, they get a 10% discount. So let purchase amount equal, let's say $125 or some other unit of currency of your choosing. Let discount equals 
then the condition is we're checking if purchase amount is greater than or equal to 100 100 dollars question mark is somebody's purchase amount greater than 100 dollars if so they will get a 10 percent discount colon if that's false they get no discount zero so then let's display the total console dot log I'll use a template literal your total is I need a dollar sign for our unit of currency then I need a placeholder so I need another dollar sign the purchase amount minus the purchase amount multiplied by let me scoot over a little the discount divided by 100 so the total since we get a discount is $112.50 if our purchase amount was $99 well we don't get that discount your total is 99 all right everybody so that's the ternary operator it's a shortcut to an if else statement it helps to assign a variable based on a condition you write a condition add a question mark as if you're asking a question do this code if that condition is true else do this code if that condition is false i'll be using the ternary operator a lot just because i feel like it's helpful and well that is the ternary operator in javascript